everyone. It's Bonnie. Happy Wednesday. I am back. I think I have a cold or extreme allergies. I don't know what the heck I have. I actually just told Angel I was going to cancel my live for tonight because I don't think I can talk for over an hour. So we'll do a live later in the week. But for some reason, my eyes are just watering and um, I can smell like I can smell perfectly fine. So um, I don't know what the heck I have. Um, it's probably just allergies or cold, but I didn't want to do a live tonight if I was um, just coughing. So we have a lot going on today. Oh my gosh, I've got like stuff all over my desk. Bath and Body Works. Oh, Bath and Body Works. I'm trying to place an order right now on the app using the 25% off because you can still do it today. I thought it was one day. Plus the lip care is $3.95. Plus the men's care is $5.95. Plus the men's cologne is $30. So if you do um, 30 minus 25%, oops, 30 minus, oops, <laughs> 30 minus 25%, $22.50 on the men's cologne. Why don't they do this for the women's stuff? Seriously, I'm like, that's a great deal. So I was going to get leather crafted for my husband. I got a bunch of lip care and um, I have um, a couple gift cards. So I'm just trying to check out on the app, which is a big pain in the butt. So I haven't checked out yet, but that's on my list to do. Also, I got to show you guys this. I went to Trader Joe's the other day. I got their pumpkin body scrub, which was almost sold out. This stuff's really good. I got to do a video on this. And then I got the ultra moisturizing hand cream with shea butter and uh, with pumpkin extract. So a little Trader Joe's haul. I got to talk about that. And then look what else I got. I got, I went to the grocery store this morning and I got Hall's throat soothing honey and vanilla. These are really good. I got to say, I don't know if I have allergies or cold, but they don't taste like that really harsh Hall's thing. So if you want a good cough drop, get those. So that's what's been going on in my life. My mother's home. She's been visited by like about 10 different people, physical therapy, occupational therapy, all kinds of stuff going on there. Hopefully at some point she can get on for a video. So um, we've been busy. <laughs> so today's video, um, I actually wanted to talk about Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, which of course I forgot the name of the other day. And it's funny, I'm either hot or cold. Check it out. Um, I got my air conditioning on, so I was freezing. So I put my jean jacket on. It's getting a little bit warm in here. So I think I'm going to take my jean jacket off now. I love this jacket. I don't know where I got this. I think I got this at Kohl's. Did I? No, it's Wrangler. I don't know where I got it. Maybe I got it at Walmart. They sell Wrangler. I don't know where I got it, but I love it. It's like super comfortable. So Cozy Vanilla Bourbon came out as an online exclusive with Sweet Whiskey. Only this one, the bottle, like the label wasn't lined up right. It's supposed to be lined up over the um, faceted part. So this one's a little wonky, but... I gotta say, I love it. It is the warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. I've been wearing this like every day um, this week. It's so fall. It's so cozy. I just love it. Like there's something just really nice about the bourbon, vanilla, and um, I don't know, like what kind of fruit is in here? Plum, dark fruit. It's funny because um, I've got my... Bonfire Bash, and of course I've got my Vanilla Romance. I feel like this trio, along with like Sweet Whiskey, is in the same like general family. I know a lot of people, and you know, I, I kind of concede on this one, that Vanilla Romance probably is not an exact dupe of Bonfire Bash, but it actually works for me. I mean, I, I do have a lot of Bonfire Bash left, um, and it's funny, I can barely tell the difference between the two. Um, in terms of Bonfire Bash versus Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, I prefer Bonfire Bash just a little bit more. I don't know what it is. I think it's the, um, I don't know if it's the creamy sandalwood or what, but there's something just really delicious about Bonfire Bash. But I gotta say, the Vanilla Romance has been working for me, so I'm not unhappy. This is the Fresh Cardamom Vanilla Absolute and Captivating Woods. Totally different scent notes, but I feel like they're 
definitely almost there. So sweet whiskey, on the other hand, has got a little bit more of a bite to it. I would say that's like the strongest of this foursome. But if you like nice, cozy fall vanilla scents, cozy vanilla bourbon is a definite win. I'd say um, if we have another body care sale, I want to stock up on this one. And I also want to get my blueberry bun cake. Like those are the two that um, I think I still need a couple more of. And again, the problem is this is an online exclusive. So I could have gotten the um, body wash today. I think the body wash is more though, because it's in the faceted bottle, which I hate. Um, so I don't know. I got to look. But Cozy Vanilla Bourbon is a definite win. It's not as long lasting to me as Bonfire Bash or Sweet Whiskey, but it definitely, it makes you smell good. I love it. It's, it's cozy. So anyway, um, oh, I put my coupons in my purse. So today is September 11th. Um, I always hate doing videos on this day a little bit, only because, you know, it's such a, it's such a sad day for all of us who experienced like 9-11. I mean, it, it's like, you know, it's one of those days where you just like stop and think. I was working at um, Cleveland Free Times, and this was like way before the whole, you know, cell phone. I mean, we had cell phones, but they were like these little tiny things that you could make a phone call on. We did not have smartphones back then. So when things happened, they weren't happening as quickly as they are now with the cell phones. And because we were in a news agency, we were getting stuff like off the wire, and we were like, what the heck? is happening. And it just, we were, I remember we were all standing in the newsroom and it was like the most surreal experience to like watch those towers fall. It was, it was horrible. So, um, you know, it's kind of sad to do videos on 9-11. I always, you know, I always keep going because I feel like that's, you know, the right thing to do. You know, you got to keep, keep moving forward. But I always try to remember like 23 years ago, I cannot believe it's been 23 years since 9-11. So anyway, been a crazy day a little bit, so I didn't want to get on too early. I actually took a nap this morning <laughs> because I was like, I'm really tired. I think it's my, I think it's either like cold or allergies. I guess I, I don't know what's going on, but I wanted to come on, talk about the sales a little bit, talk about cozy vanilla bourbon. I got to run out um, a little bit later, pick up some stuff, and then. I'll probably be on for another video, but I just wanted to let you guys know I'm not doing a live tonight. I didn't want to do a live uh, and start like choking or sneezing on camera. <laughs> it's probably not the best thing during a live, unless I have Lenny here because then he can take over for me, <laughs> which Lenny should be maybe coming next week, provided like I'm not really sick. <laughs> I don't want him here if I'm sick. So anyway, thank you as always for watching and um, I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye bye.